certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Well, that's not a call you see every day. A toss play inside their own 10-yard line. Takes a little bit of brass right there, and they're able to get a little bit of yardage. On third down, Jackson. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as he gets a little more than he needed. Four yards to pick up there on fourth and two. Jackson going to change things up a bit. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him picks up three on that carry. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now it's Jackson. And that will be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. This is taken at the 18. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Play action. Now Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. They go play action now. Jackson. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. He's to the 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So, Charles, our first points of the game provided defensively. What a play that was. And I can only imagine that the folks at home watching are thinking to themselves, that's one of those plays where once the ball leaves the quarterback's hands, you just sort of go, uh-oh, and wait for the result. This time, the defense benefited. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. 
And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's third and four now. Davis, he'll try to run for it. And this won't be enough. Stop the yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. They'll run with Davis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So did you suspect the same thing that I did, that they were lining up just to draw them off sides here? 100%. Well, how about that? They were going for it the entire time. Never questioned in his mind about going to Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by the 13-time pro bowler, Ray Lewis. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. Partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now it's Jackson, eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. the god McCaffrey it's a six yard pickup but it gets him to second and four now Jackson gonna shift him around second down and right back to McCaffrey and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line so not quite a first and goal it's first and 10 from the 10 Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. But not many guys who can blow up plays like Chase Young. He did it again there. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Touchdown, Cowboys! Evan Ingram. 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic goals, first do no harm. But right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Hey, middle, Obviously middle, middle. one that should have been caught. they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. Touchdown! 
A great effort there. 58 yards. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? But listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. And he will get into the end zone to cut the deficit down to four. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 20. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And they will take over first and 10. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is good. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 37 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Play action. It's Jackson. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. Now second and three. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. Third and three. Now Lamar changing the look. Jackson looking to throw on third. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
Well, in a tight game like this, that could be an incredibly important pick six, CD. And remember, it cancels out the one that the opposition had earlier in this ball game. You're right about that, partner, because each side came up with plays to swing the momentum their way. Still plenty of time left for either team to come through with a win, though. Can someone else make a similar play and win it for their club? The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. After the interception, here's Jackson. And that is caught for the two points. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Back to the air, Jackson following the pick six. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. But I guess that answers the question whether or not they want him throwing it again right away after throwing the pick six on the previous drive. Yeah, not something conservative or underneath. Pretty big shot right there. Get him right back in the saddle and said, go ahead and sling it, big guy. Now Jackson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys! DK Metcalf, 76 yards. And the Cowboys have regained the lead. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for. That big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch. Take it to the house. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. He really and for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by the 13-time pro bowler, Ray Lewis. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, what a game this has turned out to be for him. Remember, CD, he had the turnover earlier, and now the pick six, that's the cherry on top. You're absolutely right about that, partner. When you force a turnover on defense, you're the guy most excited about getting back out there and trying to force another one. How about him picking off that pass, setting his sights on the end zone? And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And this one won't bounce their way. It's covered up by the hands team. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Now Jackson throwing after the interception. Looking left side, and it's complete. 
touchdown. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted and... Remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. And the Cowboys are able to recover. And that's why you have your hand team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. This is caught inside the 15. A big play here for Dallas. 47 yards. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Jackson now off the bootleg. He'll buy some time right. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Lamar Jackson, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Jackson now. That's caught downfield by Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And oh, my goodness, here's a fifth interception. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback 
And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of his first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So this a two possession ball game as we get back underway set for the third quarter. From a yard or two deep here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25 actually the 26 officially so a net gain of one there. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Jackson. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by the 13-time Pro Bowler, Ray Lewis. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead. And boy, it paid off. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead, third quarter. But that, not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point. But now, if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate. Did those defenders get to add to the lead directly? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. 
in this position, trying to get back into the game. Teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Throwing after the interception, Jackson. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They go play action with Jackson. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by the 13-time Pro Bowler, Ray Lewis. With the points that we've seen scored, neither deep.